Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello and welcome to Bio Science with Shatrin Sawati. And I'm here uh, with a new lecture from my biochemistry series. And this lecture is about steroid. As you can see here, I have discussed in detail about the terpenoids. So this is the form of the terpenoids, uh, which are steroids, which I'm going to discuss. I will discuss each and everything related to steroids uh, to whom you are not familiar. So must hold on your notebook and pen and pencil and note down all the important points related to the steroids. So in this lecture, I will discuss, I'm giving you the brief uh, introduction here and different types of the steroid like the animal steroid steroids you are familiar uh, mostly you are familiar with the animals but don't familiar with the plant steroids as well as the uh, fungal uh, fungal steroids so i will give you the complete information about all these uh, must watch all my lectures do subscribe my channel like my videos share my videos if you are sharing my videos you are sharing the knowledge so keep watching keep sharing knowledge with other now i'm going to start my lecture so first of all i'm giving you here the brief introduction about the steroid what, what are basically, basically the steroids as i have discussed these are the forms of the ter uh, terpenoids types of the terpenoids as you can say these are the derived lipids it is uh, biologically active organic compounds with four rings arranged in a specific molecular configuration i will show you how the four rings the steroids have two principal biological function as important component of the cell membrane in the form of the cholesterol you are familiar with the cholesterol so the most important component of the cell membrane is the cholesterol which alter membrane fluidity and as a signaling molecule not only related to the cell membrane fluidity but also with the signal so must watch my lecture about the uh, structure and function of the cell membrane you will uh, get a lot from that lecture and the role of the cholesterol there so cholesterol is the most important steroid uh, hundreds of steroids are found in plants animals and fungi all steroids are manufactured in cells from the steroid now what are the basic uh, structural unit of the steroid must keep it in your mind lenosterol and the other one is the cyclosterol is it clear one is the lenosterol other one is the cyclo uh, sorry cycloartinol lenosterol and the cycloartinol Cy uh, uh, cycloartinol mostly in the plant in case of the plant so lenosterol and the cycloartinol are derived from the how uh, they are derived they are derived from the cyclization of the uh, triterpenes squalene so must watch my lecture about the terpenes or terpenoids you will get uh, and you will easily understand about uh, uh, understand this lecture okay so how the lenosterol which are the basic structural unit of the uh, uh, steroids one is the lenosterol other is the cycloartinol so these are derived from the cyclization of the triterpene squalene okay now what are the most important examples uh, and you are familiar with them uh, one is the cholesterol uh, and the other one is the sex hormones like um, i will discuss a little bit here and i will discuss in detail about the estrogen testosterone progesterone and the third one is the anti-inflammatory drug which is dexamethasone is it clear and mostly you are familiar with the dexamethasone okay Animal steroids. Animal steroid. I'm here giving you uh, something new about the. I'm uh, telling you something new about the steroid. That is the insect origin uh, steroids, like the uh, egg dye steroids. Egg dye steroids. Egg dye. Why it is called the egg dye? Egg dye is the word derived from the egg dye uh, Like in most of the uh, invertebrates, insects uh, from arthropods, they do egg dye shed their skin. Okay, so the insects origin included ecdysis uh, during their metamorphosis stages. So ecdysis, ecdysteroids such as the ecdysterone, controlling molting, help in the molting in some species. Okay, the next one for vertebrates examples includes the uh, steroid hormones like testosterone, uh, progesterone. Uh, uh, and the testosterone most uh, familiar and the cholesterol the latter is uh, 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 cholesterol is the structural component of the cell membrane which helps determine the fluidity of the cell membrane and is a principal uh, constituent of the plaque is it clear okay now corticosteroids what are corticosteroids corticosteroids must keep it in mind include the glucocorticoids and the second one is the mineral Mineralocorticoids. 
first one is the glucocorticoid and the second one is the mineralocorticoids now the corti uh, glucocorticoid and glucocortisol and this cortisol actually act like uh, uh, used as an immunosuppressant this is used as an immunosuppressant uh, include uh, you can say that the function is immunosuppression uh, in most of the surgeries uh, like uh, in the if you are uh, uh, i'm discussing that like uh, liver transplantation or kidney transplantation and many sort of these organ transplantation that uh, glucocorticoid act as a immunosuppressant or uh, you can say that in function is immunosuppression okay mineralocorticoids include the aldosterone and you are familiar with aldosterone this is the most important hormone um, mineralocorticoid which help regulate blood pressure through water and electrolyte balance so must read about the aldosterone if you are not familiar with the aldosterone okay now the sex steroids that is very important sex steroid include i will discuss all sex steroid uh, um, sex steroid steroids uh, step by step in my upcoming lectures so first one is the progesterone the second one the uh, one is the androgens and the estrogens so progesterone which uh, regulate the uh, cyclic changes in the endometrium of the uterus endometrium is the innermost layer of the uterus and maintain the pregnancy i will discuss in detail about the role of the progesterone in pregnancy so this help in the maintenance of the uterus and the pregnancy so androgens test include the testosterone and uh, estrogen no now testosterone which contribute to the development and maintenance of the male secondary characteristics so uh, you can say that the testosterone male uh, hormone uh, which is responsible for the male uh, secondary sex characteristics and the uh, estrogen estradiol which contribute to the development and maintenance of the female secondary sex characters or characteristics is it clear okay now i will discuss little bit i give you the information about the testosterone estrogen and the progesterone and uh, in my upcoming lecture i will discuss in detail so first one is the testosterone which is the uh, male sex hormone as you can see here the structure of that and you can see that this this is the steroid and consists of the four rings and the chemical for formula is uh, c13 19 sorry uh, h28 and oxygen 2 testosterone is a hormone produced by the human body it's mainly produced in men by the testi uh, testicles. Testosterone uh, affects a man appearance and sexual development. It stimulates sperm production as well as man's sex drive. It also helps uh, build muscles and bone mass. Is it clear? So you can see here how the testosterone work in the male. It helps in the, as you can see here, the brain development in the bone marrow and uh, uh, bone marrow regulation and development in the uh, sex organ development in the skin in muscles development and bone maintenance must note down all these points mm, and you can easily write a note uh, on the testosterone uh, in your exams okay next one is the estrogen what what are estrogens basically estrogen is a hormone which is the female hormone you can see here uh, the four rings of the estrogen because these all are steroids so i have discussed that steroids are made up of the four rings now you can see here the how the four rings uh, form that structure so estrogen is a hormone that plays various role in the body in female, it helps develop and maintain both the reproductive system and the female characteristics, such as breast and the pubic hair. Okay, now you can see here the different function of the uh, estrogen in the female. Uh, it helps in the breast development, in the muscle strength. Hmm, you can see here the breast development and the muscle strength and increase cholesterol in the bile and uh, preventing atherosclerosis 
which is the disease of the heart it also prevent you people especially the women from uh, atherosclerosis increase fat store uh, ovulation and ovulation means the release of the egg uh, and also do the vaginal lubrication stimulate uh, endometrial growth endometrial yani uh, i mean to say uh, endometrium of the uterus and the uh, maturation and maintenance of the bone mineral density so it is clear about the uh, estrogen as well as the uh, first one is the testosterone so you can see you can compare the testosterone with the estrogen male and the female is it clear to all of you okay now the progesterone so you can see the similarity uh, between the structure of all these uh, uh, steroids progesterone is a uh, sometime referred to as p4r pro but it, it, uh, but is known as the pregnancy hormone progesterone is a hormone created early in pregnancy by a cyst on the ovary called the corpus luteum i will discuss in detail in my next lecture this cyst of the ovule, uh, ovarian follicles continue to produce progesterone for 10 weeks during the pregnancy muscovite neuron after those initial weeks then the placenta takes over producing progesterone first 10 weeks which organ produces the uh, uh, progesterone the corpus luteum then later on when the pregnancy develop and uh, after the initial stages the when the placenta will develop the uh, progesterone will be produced by the placenta is it clear so i will discuss the function of the progesterone in detail in my next lecture so you can see here how the progesterone uh, produces you can see this is the corpus luteum uh, in the early stages of the uh, uh, pregnancy or uh, in early stages uh, like in ovulation what will happen when the egg releases from the corpus luteum that corpus luteum uh, really uh, act, uh, like a gland and produces a progesterone and this progesterone help in the development of the uh, endometrium and uh, for the uh, implantation of the embryo is it clear so estrogen progesterone help in maintaining the pregnancy i will discuss in detail in my next lecture uh, one by one now the plant steroid what are plant steroids basically include the steroidal alkaloids found in solanaceae and melantha melanthiaceae melanthiaceae solanaceae and melanthiaceae uh, cardiac glycosides the phytosterol and the brassicosterol brassicosteroids means uh, they are derived from the brassica so that that's why they are, they are known as uh, brassicosteroids so these are the uh, some steroids i'm uh, sharing with you people that are derived from the plants like the uh, brassicosteroids and the glycosides cardiac glycosides and uh, these all our uh, steroids include the steroidal alkaloids which are found in the solanaceae and melanthiaceae okay now the fungal steroid fungal steroids include the uh, egosterol which are involved in maintaining the integrity of the fungal cellular membrane must keep it in your mind the fungal steroid are also existing here and these fungal steroid what is the function of the uh, fungal steroid the fungal steroid help in maintaining the integrity of the fungal cellular membrane like the uh, hyphae membrane hyphae is the cell of the uh, uh, you know that the uh, fungi and the uh, hyphae uh, 
combine to form the mycelium so hyphae is the cell of the fungi uh, which is uh, you can say that uh, uh, its integrity is uh, maintained by the uh, sterol which is no steroid which is known as ergosterol is it clear to you so i have discussed little bit about the fungal steroid and just uh, giving you information about that and uh, i will discuss all these things in detail in my next lecture this is the introductory lecture to the uh, steroids so now you are familiar with the animal plant and the fungal steroids so uh, i hope the lecture will be clear upon you people must watch must share my lectures and thank you very much uh, i will be back till then allah hafiz